So lately I've been looking into ways to shoot steel from long ranges. Plastered her right in the um, I'm getting more and more into kind of target shooting or plinking, uh, shooting steel targets. And so there's a number of ways that you can mount a steel target, but I wanted something that was portable that I could set up quickly and that would hold a decent size target. Um, most of the shooting that I want to do is going to be from that 400 plus range, um, but you could use this definitely closer. Um, I just wanted the audible feedback of hitting a steel target from a distance, because if I can hit that steel target from a distance, I know I can put a bullet in the vital area of an animal. So um, this is going to be a video of how I'm setting up my high wild kit. Um, this is a kit that I bought on Amazon. It basically comes with two brackets that let you slide a two by four through this slot and then you connect some sort of piping to the two legs and then it's gonna kind of separate out across the two by four and give you uh, a stand basically that holds your target. So we're gonna use these brackets here and then we also bought, um, which came with the kit, these little slider hangers. Um, so I would assume you're gonna hook on your, um, maybe your chain or your bungee or your strap, whatever you're using to hold your steel. And then you slide these on that two by four and those are just gonna kind of sit on there to hold uh, however many targets you want. We have four. Uh, so I believe these will hold, for me, probably two targets. So I'll have a 13-inch gong and an 8-inch gong. The plates that I bought are Caldwell plates, and it cost me $100 to get the steel alone. Um, so this is not the cheapest method, but if you are trying to shoot from a long distance and you want to have a couple different size targets, especially the bigger ones, that steel is going to cost you more anyway, and this is a way to do it without breaking the bank. Um, so the High Wild kit, I believe, on Amazon is about $30. It comes with both of these brackets, as well as it comes with these four. Um, so that's $30. You can buy these separately for just 20. So no, uh, if you used like hooks or you use bolts to hold your steel targets, they weren't coming off forever, um, then you may not need these sliders. But I bought them because for the extra 10 bucks, it seemed like a decent value. And $10 in hardware is what I would have probably spent to hang the thing on the board anyway. Um, so I've got the High Wild kit, $30. I bought a two by four. Um, the two by four was like $3.77, something like that. And then I bought two 10 foot length pipes of conduit and those conduits were $10 each. So I think if you're looking at it right now, I'm probably into it just over 50 bucks. Um, I did buy a couple PVC end caps that were like 30 cents a piece uh, to put on the bottom of the conduit so that no dirt and stuff gets inside of those pipes. But I'm gonna build it right now and then I'll give you an honest review of what we think about it and we'll take it down to the range and shoot it a few times and show you uh, what it looks like hitting the steel at a distance. But um, I'm pretty happy with the concept. Let's see if it works out. Okay, so I've got my standard two by four here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down to about four foot. I don't really need anything longer than that. Um, and it'll save space in my truck when I'm trying to carry other things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just make a straight cut at four foot. Okay, I wanna briefly talk about the way that these brackets work. So essentially the bracket has a slot and that slot slides onto the two by four. And then as it's sitting on the ground, it kind of has this angle to it that essentially kicks out the legs. Well, I figure as you're shooting the target and this thing's bouncing around, there's a little opportunity for this to slide. So I wanna prevent that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this lined up with kind of the overhang that I want it to have. And then I'm going to basically just make a little slit up here at the top that's gonna give it a groove to kind of hook this top piece of the bracket into so that when it gets there, it's not gonna move. And I would say, I mean, it doesn't look bad. May not be perfect, but I think we're gonna stick with that in terms of just trying to get a little bit of a notch put in here. So, I'm gonna measure up the blade, 
Make sure we like the spot and give it a little go. This is EMT conduit. I chose this because it fits around this bar pretty well, but it also is a little bit thicker. And I do plan on drilling through these and attaching bolts so that this connection is very sturdy. Now, if you wanted to have the ultimate breakdown rig, it would probably be better to have some wing nuts where you could just easily attach and detach when you're done at the range. But if you're gonna have a permanent setup or you have enough room in the bed of your truck, you could basically get two legs bolted in to each side and then you could lay it down flat in your truck bed like so, so that it slides nice and easy back there until you uh, get to the range and you pop it out and you use it. So let's poke some holes in these and get them bolted up to the brackets. started with longer bolts so that they would fit through the pipe. And then I just kept ratcheting those down with an impact driver. Now these things are just really, really pressed against this bracket and they're not gonna come loose. And I can now just cut these off if I want with like a, a cutting wheel.
So as you can see, it only takes just a few seconds to set up. I have an eight inch target. I have a 13 inch target. I've got those hooks in the legs so that the legs go out a little bit further. You'll have to excuse the dimension right now because I am on a sloped driveway, um, but really nice as far as the chains and the steel and just very quick to set up. That's all fit in the back of my truck bed. And this thing is chock full of strollers and everything else. Quickly set up, quickly tear down and put it away. And you're, uh, you're long range shooting. You can drive your truck all the way up to where you want to place these and then uh, set them out and then drive back to where you're shooting and you're ready to go. If you have to carry it, it's not super heavy. The heaviest part's gonna be the steel plates, but most of you aren't gonna be carrying those steel plates too far because you'll be able to drive up right to where you're shooting. So I think this is probably one of the best little systems you can create. It doesn't cost you a ton of money. I think I'm into it about 200 bucks with plates and everything, um, but an absolutely great setup. It's gonna last forever and it's super portable, easy to pack up and down. And uh, I think this is gonna suit my purpose for a long time. So I'm gonna take you out to the range when we get ready to shoot it and you can see how the steel holds up. But um, this video is really just about kind of getting this all set up and the cost of it and uh, just the strength of kind of this high wild kit. So um, I love it. I give it an A plus so far and uh, I can't wait to get out and shoot it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you like content like this, you wanna see other shooting accessories, we're gonna be doing a few things with a uh, trap thrower um, and a couple new guns that we're looking at picking up. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and we will see you next time on Catching Colorado. Oh, it's quiet. Yeah. Eight inch gong. All right, so I just took my first shot suppressed with my 300 wind mag and using one of my buddy's suppressors, which is apparently one of the most quiet ones on the market that you can buy. It's an $1,800 suppressor. I hit at the eight inch gong target and the chain that was holding it just completely went bye-bye. Um, I'm not sure if we blew the bolt off or what happened, but there was enough force there uh, to give it a run for its money. So we're about to see what happened and where the damage is. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.